Hey guys, Accountability Angel here, and we are outside of the Princeton Police Department in Princeton, Illinois. It is November 22nd, 2021, at approximately 2.15 p.m. We are here to conduct a complaint compliance check, a 1A, and a FOIA compliance check. I visited here for like 8 or 9 at night. About a year ago, it was my second audit ever before I ever began complaint compliance checks because my rights hadn't been violated by LaSalle County at that point. The officers didn't like me being there at that hour, um, but they, as far as I recall, they respected my First Amendment right to film. This door was locked last time, so, um, oh, it's not locked this time. several blue line flags. Uh, yeah, I needed to find out how I file an officer complaint and I needed two um, Freedom of Information Act forms. How many Freedom of Information Act forms do you need? Two. I'm not sure who makes them, but somebody makes those blue line flags around here. And they all seem to have them. At least they have an American flag right there, front and center. Peg, Majewski, something like that. Okay. I am working with about 15 minutes time, so let's see if we can get a complete form in 15 minutes. And some need to treat me kindly. Now there's, there's Sorensen. We met him last time. Really, it wasn't that bad. Um, somewhat. Although I was allowed to be there. <laughs> Who else do we meet? Wolf. I don't know if I see him on here. Oh, Casey Grosso works here. He also works in Peru. And I think he was working in Tanaka too. He's he's real cool. I actually found out he's related to Wolford. <laughs> well, by marriage. Small world. Yeah, I don't see another guy on here. Unless I'm blind. Or he told me the wrong name, like Bonds did. No needles, no liquids, no ointments. Wonder who collects these? At least theirs looks clean. A lot of them I see are um, very dusty and you can tell nobody pays attention to it. <clears throat> Here's the Freedom of Information form. Okay, and I don't have to identify on there, do I? As long as I just give you, like, an email to contact me. Whatever's on, on the paperwork there. Yeah, but I don't have to fill I'll this have, part I out, have right? I to look under the Freedom of Information Act to see exactly, but it's... Yeah, because I wanted to do it my... Says it indicates a required field. Yeah. So I think that's for, through the information, that's where we got these forms. Uh-huh. Well, I wanted to... Um, with my complaint form. I was probably thinking about doing that anonymously. Therefore, I kind of need to do this anonymously if I want to actually be anonymous, if that makes sense. Well, it says it's, an indi it's a required. Oh, okay. Well, nonetheless, um, and for my complaint. So you have a complaint against an officer? I wanted the form and I wanted to find out um, however the process is, if I wanted to.
Seems like she means well. So far, so good. I don't like to speak too soon because last time I spoke too soon and Rockford, two men put their hands on me after they let me in the building. I don't know what's with these men putting their hands on people, but uh, it needs to stop. Gun or not. Move over, it's the law. Yes, it is. Freaking hate that. This is the form we have. What you, we have you do is if you have a complaint against an officer, complete this report, return it, then the chief will give you a call and then he'll have a face to face with you to discuss it with you. Now, do I have to identify on it? Well, it's kind of hard for him not to have a face to face with you if you don't. Well, he could arrange where he meets me at Walmart right. so no officer sees or something, you know, for retaliation issues. That's what I'm concerned about. Um, You'd have to speak with him when you complete the form. Yeah, well, oh, I didn't want to complete that part of it. Is there a way for you to find out if I have He's to? In a meeting right now. Do you have maybe an officer or like a sergeant that I could ask? It would be the chief because it goes directly to the chief. But can I ask them because I'm working with really limited time? I can see if I've got one, but I don't know. There's nobody in the building right now. Oh. You guys don't have like a policy book for it for how you handle them? But uh, for the policy for you guys to follow, it doesn't say whether I can turn it in anonymously out of fear of retaliation. I've never had anybody pose that question, so I don't know. I can't give you an answer to a question I don't know. Do you have the policy book here? What kind of, I don't understand. The like you guys' department policy, like how you are supposed to handle it how your chief wants you to handle it, you know what I mean? Okay. Will he keep it private though? So I'm really worried about um, issues stemming from something like that. That's why I, I like to be anonymous. Yeah. Okay. So whatever you feel comfortable with, if you don't feel comfortable with an email address, if a phone number you feel more comfortable with. I can't I can't hear you. She went. It was hard for me to hear, but I know my camera probably couldn't hear either because I could barely hear. Yeah, they don't know my information. Here, how about his email and his phone number, and you can call and talk to him personally. Okay, and that's the chief? Correct. And so he will for sure, though, keep my information private um, as to Most my identity? Most definitely. Okay. And um, when's a good time to contact him? Well, like, your guess is as good as mine. He's in and out of meetings a lot, so just try him. He's really good at returning phone calls. Okay, what do I do, say, if he doesn't? Like, he's like, oh, this, screw her. Oh, he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't? No, he'll call you back. He will definitely call you back. That sounds good. There would be no reason for him not to. Okay. Okay? All right, All right. thank you so much. She seemed very um, adamant that he would call back. All right, so good. I decided I do not like this trigger uh, trigger holder. Oh great, where is he going? Uh, they got a weird setup here. Now he's just going by. It's Bo County Sheriff. I wanted to go over that way too again. Um, I just don't have the time. I was clearing shopping at Princeton Walmart and ran out of time, so that's why I gotta hurry up and get back to town. Got mommy duty. I do wanna run over here to Beautown and uh, 
make sure I don't spook them anymore. Hopefully they were educated last time. That's the reason the police came to me. Um, so. But uh, that big lady, she seemed, uh, she seemed like the thing she was saying, she just genuinely wasn't for sure on. And or she seemed pretty solid that the chief would call back and I really like that. Very good. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever using this trigger grip one again. I just, I just got a good deal on it. <laughs> so I was trying to learn how to use it on the way over here in the car because I was running out of so much time. No guns in the building. No loitering. And that's the thing, um, loitering is like being around there or staying around without a purpose. When you're gathering content for a story and or trying to inquire about things um that is a purpose we have a lot of people that are confused with that stop at the door on the right Or is there a thermometer? What's on? Oh, inside this door. Not how much going on in there. I think I was popping a squat in one of these chairs uh, when they came up to me last time. Yep. Looks good. Nobody is uh, freaking out calling the police because I'm in there. That's great. Well, I'd call it a solid pass for the Princeton Police Department and for Miss uh, Peg, if that was her name that was on the nameplate where she was sitting. So hopefully that is correct. Um, I'd call it a solid complaint compliance check. She tried to be as helpful as she could with the information she understood, I believe, and as well with is with the FOIA. She also believed that I wouldn't have a problem with the chief had I wanted to remain anonymous and keep quiet. And we all know why that is. We all know I've been retaliated against before, um, as well as so many others. But I'd call it a, a great pass for Princeton. They did an excellent job. She seemed like a pretty solid representation. And I would have waited around for, say, a supervisor to for sure confirm what I already knew to be true, um, but I just don't have the time to do that today. So, very happy with this, uh, with this positive video out here in Princeton. Alright guys, well thanks for watching, tell your friends, bye!